Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to introduce the moment of inertia concept and to look at some standard shapes and their moments of inertia. So the moment of inertia, or we sometimes call it the second moment of area, is a geometric property which is related um, to some objects resistance to rotational movements. So we'll see what this means um, in the next couple of videos where we do some examples. But basically in civil engineering, uh, we use we, we often combine this property, this uh, moment of inertia property with, uh, with uh, some material properties. So for instance, if the beam is made out of steel or concrete, they have different material properties. And the combination of these two factors allows us to um, determine quantities such as stiffness, which um, is important when we're working out deflections and um, the strength of members. So the units for moment of inertia are millimeters to the fourth and we denote moment of inertia as either i x so i subscript x or i subscript y um, depending on which axis the um, we are measuring relative to so i x is related to rotations relative to the x axis and i y is is rel is related to rotations relative to the y axis and I'll try my best to explain what that means uh, when we look at these standard moment of inertia formulas. So we'll start off with rectangles. So rectangles are basically going to be the most common shape that we're, um, that we're going to use. Uh, we have lots and lots of right angles in civil engineering and so we can generally break um, sections down into rectangles. Occasionally we'll be looking at circles when we're doing such things as columns, but for the most part, um, we're looking at 